Well, uh, one statement, speaking of the Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, and you know the kind of leadership that he has shown over the last 10 years, uh, and we are, of course, going into the elections now, uh, is not an era of war. He said that at the SCO, he said that at the G20, and that was reflected in the consensus statement uh, in New Delhi as well. How, I wouldn't ask you how difficult you know, these two years have been, you know, amidst these wars between Russia and Ukraine, and now for the last five months between Israel and Hamas, and the position that India has taken, the independent position of self-interest, and the kind of statements that we have heard from Europe, and the kind of mirror that you have shown to the world. How important uh, is this self-interest uh, not compromising, just like you said at the, music, uh, at the Munich uh, Security Conference, that, you know, India is being smart about having multiple options? Well, uh, look, uh, of course, a lot of it is about self-interest, and I see nothing wrong with self-interest. You know, all of you have self-interest you pursue every day. But at times, it's also bigger than self-interest. You know, uh, say, what I was speaking about Global South was bigger. You know, we are, we are not a country which is deeply indebted, but we do believe countries who are uh, should, should, something should be done for them. Uh, in the case of uh, these issues, uh, look, uh, you know, uh, eventually the stand we took looked very natural, you know. But you do go through that process of, okay, something has happened, what do we say, you know, who do we talk to, what are the pressures, the counter pressures, the arguments. And then, Somewhere something gels, you know, uh, in, in, in all of this. Uh, I think in the, in the case of uh, Ukraine, uh, a lot of it, uh, I mean, the, the, uh, we were, you know, at that time, the Security Council, okay? So the first, I, I, I was still actually on the flight back from France. Uh, uh, I had I'd been meeting Macron the previous evening. When on the plane, I could... I, I saw the news that the Russians had moved in. And that Security Council meeting was actually literally happening when I was on the plane. So there was, I could only send text messages and, and uh, I mean, at least you could do that from a plane nowadays, that, that's a help. Uh, but from what initially became like, uh, uh, you know, a political, uh, I would say a formulation, uh, what is the messaging you are doing? It, once you moved fairly quickly into the uh, sanctioning stage, the, you know, uh, Europe deciding that it was going to take some counteraction, then it actually became a different set of issues arose. And those issues had implications for our national growth, for our development, uh, for, for the average citizen of India, you know. And at that stage, that's when you actually uh, uh, look at your interest, you look at what others are saying, you look at, frankly, how consistent it was. Uh, and part of our problem was that, you know, the expectations of us uh, was, I mean, here were countries who are now redirecting, they were reducing the Russia supplies, they were coming into the Middle East, they were essentially coming into markets which, which would have then got impacted because that's where we were buying from who were graduating out of it, who were managing it for themselves, but were not one giving you that same space, you know. Their expectations of you was more than their demands of themselves. And that, we felt, was deeply unfair and, you know, challenged in a way. 